A cabinet reshuffle is on the cards for the new year. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley has advised President Paula May Weeks that would effect from Wednesday, 1st January 2020, and in accordance with the Constitution of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, the following changes will be made. The assignment of Sherry Ann Critchlow Covert as Minister of Social Development and Family Services has been revoked. She is to be reassigned as Minister in the Ministry of Planning and Development. The appointment of Camille robinson Regis has been revoked as Minister of Planning and Development, and she is now reassigned as Minister of Social Development and Family Services. The Prime Minister has also revoked the assignment of Adrian Lyons as Parliamentary Secretary in the Ministry of Public Utilities and reassigned him as Parliamentary Secretary in the Ministry of Works and Transport. Foster Cummins is to be appointed a Senator as Parliamentary Secretary in the Ministry of Rural Development and Local Government. And Dr. Rowley will take on the role of Minister of Planning and Development in addition to his present portfolio as Prime Minister. And in a closer look at these developments, political analyst Dr. Winsford James says Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley owes an explanation to the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago for his latest decision to reshuffle cabinet ministers. Dr. James chatted with TTT News earlier and said a cabinet reshuffle is nothing new, but in this particular instance, the latest move leaves more questions than answers. We put him there to govern. We authorize him to govern. And if, as he says, he's governing with the consent of the people, he should explain. Dr. James said the most significant move is the removal of leader of government business, Camille robinson Regis from the Ministry of Planning and Development, and the Prime Minister himself taking over her portfolio. He added that removing Mrs. robinson Regis entirely from the planning ministry raises a number of questions. Well, thinks that he should take over the Ministry of Planning. Wasn't she doing a good job? He thinks he should take it over. Not only that, he doesn't keep Camille Regis. Robinson Regis, he replaces her with somebody else. What do we know of Coburn's uh, ability that makes her suddenly more suitable to operate in that ministry? And also chiming in on the latest cabinet reshuffle is political analyst Dr. Bishnu Raghunath. Dr. Raghunath said the move by Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley shows that the Prime Minister is fully aware that his cabinet has to function effectively and efficiently. We are heading into an election, and therefore, as any good politician would want to do, he'd want to, to set the, the pace to make sure that people are in the right places to ensure that victory could be had by his party. Dr. Raghunath said he's not surprised by the Prime Minister's decision to reshuffle the members of his cabinet. And with regard to the removal of Camille robinson Regis from the Ministry of Planning and Development to the Ministry of Social Development and Family Services, Dr. Raghunath said the move is political and should not be viewed as a demotion.